welcome to NAZ Today. I'm Sierra Ferguson. Thanks for tuning in. Now tonight, a Coconino County resident has died from complications caused by hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, a rare but potentially fatal disease caused by exposure to infected rodent droppings, urine, breath, or saliva. So NAZ Today met with Marie Peoples from the County Health Department to find out more about the case, disease, and its symptoms. So we've only had the four cases since 2006. Unfortunately, of those, two have been fatal. And so it is a rare disease, but of course it is potentially fatal, which is why we ask people to take the prevention steps. Transferred through the droppings and saliva of rodents, particularly deer mice. Officials say the best way to prevent hantavirus is to know where rodents typically live in your home. So within garages, sheds, even within homes, if you notice that you have mouse droppings, the first step is to remediate, so definitely pest control. And then cleaning. If you notice that you do have mouse droppings or if you find a rodent nest, the first step would be to spray it with a disinfectant and to let it sit for about 15 minutes so it can absorb and so that it doesn't create dust that you would then inhale. People says that even though the virus can be disguised as the common cold, it's important to know the symptoms. So the symptoms are going to be fever, headache, uh, fatigue, and so they're fairly common symptoms. So people need to be aware, um, talk with primary care providers if symptoms persist. And symptoms can last several days over the course of symptoms typically present within seven days to three weeks. If you would like additional step-by-step -step information, you can visit the Coconino County website at coconino.az. Dot gov. With NAZ Today, I'm Raya Grams.